For nearly 10,000 years, the Dark Angels have kept secret the disastrous events that took place on Caliban. They have never revealed the truth to anyone outside of the Unforgiven, for they could not bear for others to know of their terrible shame. Thus, has guilt and secrecy transformed them over the millennia. For all that time was the betrayer Luther kept deep within the rock, his existence known only to the Supreme Grand Master and to the mysterious Watchers in the Dark. For all that time did Luther scream. He spoke in a voice of inhuman quality and told lies or wailed out the greatest secrets in moments of rare lucidity. Luther begged for his own death. Yet, Luther is gone now, escaped by unknown means to unclear ends. One more truth remains concealed, however. Buried deep within the last bedrock of old Caliban is the greatest of all the Dark Angel's secrets. Hidden in the innermost chamber that is unreachable by all save the cryptic watchers in the dark, Lionel Johnson slumbers. His wounds long healed, he awaits a time when he is most needed, when the clarion call of battle summons him once more to lead his sons to defend the Imperium of mankind. It is now clear that the Lion is ready to return. Over the past few editions of the Dark Angel Codex, the text states that he is fully healed and awaits the time to lead his sons once more when he is most needed. I think that time is now. With the coming of the Great Rift, the Imperium has never been in more peril. The galaxy has been split asunder. Rebooter Gilliman, in all of his wisdom, is doing the best he can to turn the tide against the powers that have been unleashed upon us all. The Indominus Crusade has been launched. The Imperium has thrust its sword into the stars again to reclaim its rightful place as its ruler. Even so, the Imperium teeters on a knife edge. In the far north of the galaxy, in the realm now dubbed Imperium Nifilus, the Imperium has never been weaker. The Great Rift has caused blindness to the Astronomicon. Entire sectors loyal to the throne have succumbed to its darkness. Now is the time for the Lion's return, to reignite the fury of the Emperor's dream once more. The first son of the Emperor was probably one of the most loyal and trusted by the Emperor himself, given weapons and technology by the Emperor that even he feared to unleash. Over the course of the 10,000 years, the Dark Angels have hidden their shame, destroying all evidence and in some cases, allies who stumbled upon their secret. But their secret is now unleashed. Luther has escaped from the rock, the Fallen are on the move. In the northern parts of Imperium Nifilus, they gather in strength, not seen since the days of the Horus Heresy. With this growing threat, not only to the Imperium, but to the very soul of the Dark Angels and their successor chapters, I think the only individual strong enough to bring justice on his fallen sons is the Lion. We all know that the powers of Chaos are growing with the Rift. We've seen multiple Demon Primarchs return already. Magnus the Red pushed towards terror, and only the intervention of Rebuta Gilliman, the Sisters of Silence, and the Grey Knights stopped his dreaded plans. Mortarion is gathering his strength, aiming to take the realm of Ultramar down. Abaddon, who broke Cadia and unleashed the rift, is surely still pushing along with his secret plans. Rumours are that he intends to collapse the warp upon the galaxy itself, utterly destroying everything. Rebuta needs all the help he can muster, and the return of the Lion would be a beacon of light in the ever-growing darkness. It is time for the first son to return and bring his father's retribution. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on this matter. Would you like the Lion to return? Do you think it is the perfect time for the Lion to return right now with everything that is going on? We know that they've basically reset the Indominus Crusade, the Plague Wars, Dark Imperium books that were written by Guy Haler will take place 12 years into that Indominus Crusade and will no longer take place at the end of it. Does that mean that they are rewriting it to maybe bring a Loyalist Primarch back during the Indominus Crusade or maybe at the end of it? Is the Lion your choice to bring back? Please put it down below and we've got a nice little chat down there as we always do. See you now, thank you for watching and bye bye.